Hello, Auggies Worldwide. We have a question today from David Wilson, KU4B. And uh, this is an interesting question that leads me to believe he suffered this problem, is trying to do it about it, or knows something about it. He says, welding a freeze break on a tower section. You want to try and keep the water out of the tower legs by putting a cap on the top. The water can back up in there and of course freeze. If it freezes, it will pop open. Uh, you'll get a freeze break in the line, which greatly reduces the strength of the line. Could actually bring a tower over. Um, so you wanna be very careful of those. Now he talks about welding a freeze break on a tower section. Dave, if you happen to try welding a section of Roan 25, or 35 or 45, the three prop, uh, popular ones in ham radio. One problem is it ruins the hot dip sink coating on the inside. You can paint it on the outside with Rust-Oleum or something like that. But inside, you now have exposed the steel of the tower to um, the elements, okay? And corrosion can set in in other words, rust, uh, as a result of that. Uh, the problem might be the inside section where it is not visible. He says, I don't speak for Roan, but thought I would mention this because I would not trust a section repaired that way. I've done some welding, but I'm no expert at it. And 73 is from uh, Dave, Dave Wilson. So, um, you know, he, he brings up a good point. It's uh, very tempting to just uh, freeze that. If I were you, I'd put some reinforcement around it so that if it continued to rust out around that break, you've got some reinforcement on there that will uh, keep that tower leg strong. You can approach Roan and see what that might do. Roan, by the way, is R-O-H-N. Uh, Roan 25 is their thinnest tower. 45 is their thickest. Roan 25 has to be guide. Some of the bigger pieces, you can do some unguide sections on that. But be careful with that. You don't want your tower rusting out on you. It's uh, not healthy for anybody around. So there you have it. Yeah, it's a good point. You've got to make sure that all the parts holding your tower together are properly corrosion protected. It might be that you may want to put a reinforcing section around it and then bolt it above and below and put corrosion control in where you drill the belts that uh, drill the bolt holes okay which can help keep the uh, the coating on it you, you won't be hot dipping it in zinc but there are uh, rust retardant paints for steel that you can put on it and if uh, it, they they kind of look kind of orange sometimes. You can always paint over that with black or, or dark green or whatever you want. Okay, so there you have it. Until we next meet, 73. <laughs>